CCI yeah. International 2019 semi final match Ramit Tandon of India to serve Tariq Momin so of Egypt to receive off. best of five games. Love all. I think Tariq's going to try and assert his sort of dominance and you know show his confidence early on. Try and Take a few fast points here and see if we can build a quick lead. Yeah, absolutely. I think you can see that already. Out. Uh, he's, he's done exactly yeah. what you were. And out. Bottle off. Seconds ago. If you saw his match yesterday as well with Eko, he was six or seven level up quickly. But the thing that Eko did was he kept he just hang, hung in there and eventually he got his opening. I think Ramit just has to weather this early storm and hopefully. Yeah. Because he has Ramit skillful enough to figure out a way to get used to the pace. He just I think uh, needs some time. Ditya, are you aware if? Uh, the two of them have played on the PSA this tour? This is their first time. First time, okay. I'm assuming they've trained together, right? And I think they've played together in Egypt, is that? Yeah, I'm guessing like Ramit as a junior he used to go to Egypt quite a bit to train, uh, like me. So I'm not sure if they've played too much. That's a great yeah, shot by Ramit. Great, great hands there. Yeah. Hand out, by Ramit. one all. Yeah. Even with Tarek's speed and athleticism, he was still really far away from that. So. Absolutely. Ramit obviously is based in, um, he goes up and down between Calcutta and New York and uh, in Calcutta he trains with Saurabh, so he's probably used to, you know, playing at a higher pace. 2-1. Uh, he he's has Saurabh as a sparring partner, partner yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's always going to be dangerous because he has a very skillful game, plus today he has nothing to lose and he's not under any pressure, so... Yeah, and, and Amit uh, has two gone all. through this tournament uh, relatively unscathed from the perspective of the kind of matches he's played. Uh, he had a... Uh, sort of obviously was hurt. And out. Uh, and therefore he got a walkover yesterday. Uh, he had a relatively easy match against Tom Richards, who we understand was a little bit under the weather and uh, a relatively easy first round match against Josh Master. So he's going to be fresh for this one, for yeah. sure. But I feel like that can work both ways as well. Because Tarek's had those hard matches in his life, so he's a little bit more used and to out. Three all. feeling and playing under that pressure. Where Ramit sort of, I think this is the first match where he's going to get tested in these conditions. So Absolutely. See how tight they're playing down that backhand wall, not yeah. giving each other a chance to volley at all. It's a great wide cross court. Yeah, that's nicely dug, dug out by him with a tight forehand drop by Tariq, but skillfully dug out. Okay. That could be a stroke. Stroke to moment. Stroke to moment. I think Ramit's done uh, negotiating these first two, three points. He's by no means looking overawed or, you know, like, the ranking, there's a slight ranking difference by like, being top five and Ramit being around 60 odd, I think. You know, but at the moment, it's not looking like a girl's hit that big, so. No, absolutely. Yeah, he's looking very calm, cool, collected out there. A little short there. And that's why he doesn't want to keep it. Oh, that's back. a perfect backhand drop. by 5-3. That's, that's why he wants to avoid that area and front to the mid is where he wants to avoid. That, that's Tarek's strong point, yeah. And then trading blows down the back hand side, just waiting for that opening. No let. No let. He's giving a no let. Ball was passed. Ball was passed. There is a line behind the player. No let, hand out, 4 5. So I think possibly Tarek could have made a little bit more of an effort because he played the weak shot. Mm -hmm. And I think since Ramit plays a good deep shot in the corner, Tarek probably would have been expecting Tarek to go around him a little bit more. That's nice use of the lob there, getting himself out of trouble. Tarek loves using those wristy, wristy shots. Those little uh, half board. Good 
Security effects are in the middle. Yeah, Tarek is great shot by Ramit. Brilliant shot by Ramit. Lovely to, uh, two ball post. Tarek, uh, Tarek doesn't think twice about going short. short you know, yeah. he, he he loves that front area. And he's he'll very do brave. Like, yeah. if you see his matches, even if it's the fifth game at nine or ten or if he has the opportunity, he goes for it. Uh, just like that. Just like yeah. That. And out. So Ramit Six really five. To make sure, even if he's in the lead, he's still playing it, trying to keep it tight and. You want court services? Court services, please. And obviously it's very humid here, yeah. so the players sweat a lot. We had a peculiar incident yesterday where James was dropped, asked for Mahesh to get him put on a headband because he was sweating so much, yeah. which I found really interesting. And Mahesh, to his credit, did get a headband. So. I, 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 I guess there's nothing in the rules that you can force a player yeah, to put up a, a yeah. wristband or a, a headband, a headband on. Yeah. But I've seen a couple of times where I remember a match about a few years ago where they asked the player to change his socks because the socks were so wet and yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I guess when it when it becomes a possibility that the court becomes dangerous, dangerous to play on, exactly. uh, that's you. when the referees can intervene and mm. maybe suggest a yeah. change in apparel. I feel like this little break will do Ramit a little bit of good too. You know, he's weathered the early storm and. You know, just gets a little bit of time to just reset and go yeah, again. Yeah, absolutely. And it uh, looks like Ramit's put, put on a headband. headband. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a little laugh about it Six as well. 6-5. So this, this middle area of the game is obviously extremely important because either, you know, one person pulls through or it's going to keep going like 6 or 7 or later. So it'll be interesting to see how it pans out from there. Absolutely, that's a tight drop and even a tighter counter drop there. Tarek's very dangerous Seven in that five. area, you have to be perfect otherwise. That's why they call him the Viper, you know, he slides in there and... A little too loose there from Ramit and now just... 8-5. Hitting the tin, top of the tin. Uh, it's a little loose too, Tarek puts it away. Yeah. Nine five. I mean, see, these are these are cheap points oh that yeah. Ramit has to yeah. avoid, and a player of uh, yeah. Tariq's class is just going to take Do you full think advantage of it. Because of the effort he's had to put in the first five six points, and maybe he's loosened up a little bit, or is Tariq's quality just? I, I think I honestly think there's a bit of a uh, drop in concentration. So maybe the stop didn't actually do good. It, yeah, it yeah. didn't do Ramit much good. I think he was playing quite well before the Down. break. And now six nine. And this is where Tarek's very dangerous too, because if he can go for those winning shots when he's down 8-5 and he's up 8-5, he definitely will, you know, open the court up and mm -hmm. really go for his winners. Yeah, absolutely. He'll just build on his confidence. Yeah. I'm just floating a little bit on the backhand. I think if he hit the ball a little bit harder and punched it more on the back. That, that so should be a stroke, a simple stroke there. So, to Tandon. 7 9. Ahead of him on the backhand side every time. That's very generating that pressure. Yep. So obviously, for most people know, but Tarek is actually married to um, the women's world number one, Rani Malvalili, who is an incredible player herself. So it's a true squashing family, you know? Yeah. Safe to say they'll win the mixed doubles quite easily. Oh yeah. I think it's safe to say the kids will be pretty good squash players too. <laughs> Is and out, 10-7 game, the game backhand, ball. The minute it comes loose, Tarek's on it in a flash. And so far, it's been a very... Uh, the pace has been very pedestrian. Yeah. Just too too much floating stuff. Yeah. And I think that suits Tarek to a, to a tee. Yeah. But Ramit's game also isn't a power. Yes, it's more yeah. control, it's yeah. more... Yes, like right right 10-7 yeah. game ball. Yeah, but, like, but yesterday, if you saw Eko was hitting it hard and like playing at a high pace as well. And that definitely brought some level of discomfort to Tarek, but so far, yes, I, so far I don't see uh, Tarek uh, yes, uncomfortable Ten at all. Game ball. I think Ramit has to, uh, not that this game is over, but if he ends up losing this game, he's really going to have to rethink his strategy. Mm. Uh, his game may not be power or put a lot of pace, but floating it so much is just yeah. not going to get him any power. 
Even at cross court drop yeah. attack. 11 7. Yeah. Game to Moment. Moment leads. One game to love. Moment leads. One game to love. So, love all. It'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see what Dalip, uh, that's Ramit's uh, coach, as if, uh, what he's able to strategize and come up with. Sort of was sitting with him as well. Okay. I'm sure One love. Some yeah. Tips to visit cross court of the serve where Tarek caught it three four times now where he's managed to volley drop it and that's the rally off in defensive format. Yeah. Good shot. I just, I just feel that this kind of, this kind of game suits Tarek to to Too perfection. Long. There's absolutely no pace on the ball. He's able to take his time and put in his uh, little dinky balls whenever he wants. And he's hitting it to perfection at right now. And, and I feel he's just going to just grow in confidence and get braver and braver, just like that. He's trying to punish him a little bit. Good with Paramount. He's definitely putting a little bit more, more pace, ball, yeah. yeah. And it, he has to do that if he's going to have any kind of impact on this match. It's it's but it's if you look at it's Tarek has just Down. been stagnant, more and or less stagnant on the tee yeah. and uh, making Ramit do a lot of work. Even though Tarek made an error, it was a moving shot play, so... The love again by Ramit to Kaza. Those balls are not going to work. Not at this level. Yes, let. A cross court. Yes, let. Tarek One, two. In the flash and actually yeah. yeah. You're, you're lucky to get away with it, I think. Though I'm very happy to see Ramit at this stage as well. Obviously, he went to college in the US as well. He went to Columbia University. And I always enjoy, we come into um, college intermediate as well. I always enjoy when these players do well because it breaks the myth that if you go to college and get a good degree, Thank you. you can't be a top sports player. You know? I, I, I really enjoy seeing Ali Farago. And out. 3 1. And I think, uh, obviously, education is really important, but these guys out here proving that. It doesn't have to be one or the other. You can do both and still be extremely successful. At, you know, so I think it's a huge credit to Ramit to survive and Ivy League curriculum and still come out of it and you know do as well as he's been doing. So, yeah, so. Absolutely, Adit, yeah. And you can put your put your name in that list as well. <laughs> oh, great oh, shot, Ramit. That's a love. Hand out two three. Ramit using his wrist very late to just flick the ball across. Good shot by Tarek. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a lovely shot. Great shot by Ramit. But if you see the two points that Ramit won, he hit high risk, perfect shots to win the points. So yeah, and that's what uh, a world number three or four, what Tarek is, is going to force you to do. Yeah. Ramit pulled it off, but I wonder if he'll be able to do 11 points of that, you know? That's the yeah, challenge. Yeah, that, that's the challenge, actually. Yeah. We took the words out of my mouth. Yes, Lep. Yes, Lep. But once again, I like the first game, and he's living up to him in the start. You know, hopefully at four or five hours, there's not a big break by Tarek. Cause that's when I think Tarek would really start making his move. So that's yeah, Ramit has to absolutely. Do. That's so like this. Yeah, so this yeah. has to be just four three. Uh, has to be much better. Every opportunity he gets, he's going to attack. What's good to see, at least, it's a nice clean match. Yeah. The referees are not getting involved at all. If we don't, very clean yeah, as well. correct. They're not very aggressive towards the ref. They're not very. They keep the game keeps going, you know. Yep. 
Oh, that's a nice hold. Really nice hold there. He drew him into the back corner. And Good services, please. Click that. Very nice shot. Yeah, please, quickly. It's always from the junior year, he actually had, has very good wrists. He's able to wait until the very last second before changing the direction in which like, he wants to put the ball. So he sucks people in one way and then uses his wrist to direct the ball somewhere completely different. And this is about He's the same time that we had a board cleaning uh, last, time, last game. Yeah. Now, and then Tariq made a move on. Yeah. Thank and you. Ramit lost his length in that and he lost his yeah. rhythm. So let's see if history repeats itself or Ramit is able to keep his concentration and finish this game you know, much in, a, in, a, in a positive manner, yeah. Hand out for all. Ramit actually has a younger brother as well, Rishi, who is also one of the top juniors and who went to Colombia with him as well. And they both were part of a very successful Colombia team that actually when Ramit went in as a freshman, they were outside the top eight. And as a senior, I think, um, as captain, led them to the top four um, in college squash. So it's a pretty big jump for them. Yep. Yes, Lee? I, I, I didn't really see yes, much in that. For all. I was looking a little bit yeah. for the player more. The racket yeah. came up very early. Yeah, correct. I'm just been using a log a lot more as well. So I think that's but that length has to improve. Right. You can definitely feel like he's putting a little bit more into a shot spot. Beautifully picked out by Tarek. No drop of concentration so far. Yeah, that's maybe that's too early to tell, but you know, right Aditya, what I'm noticing is every time Ramit is hitting a length, yeah. that no length, net. that length ball is typically no above the cut line. Hand out, 5-4. Especially on the backhand. Especially on the backhand, which, yeah. again, I'm, I, I know I might sound repetitive here, but... You're going to the player. Uh, There's a line that's just going to, uh, that's just going to benefit Tarek. He's, it, there's just no pressure being put on him. And the backhand volley is his... his Area, like that's why he loves yeah. that volley drop. Yeah. And when he goes below the cut line, he's hitting in the halfway in the service box. Mm -hmm. And that would be a stroke to simple moment. stroke there. Yeah. So tomorrow. Alex also generating a lot of six pressure. Six-four. Look at his length. Most of his length, but the second bounce is dying. So now he's not being able to get behind in a good, strong position to fit it also that much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah agree. Yeah. Hand out. And these are the balls. Five, these six. Are the kind of points that Ramit is winning. Mm -hmm. You know, a little bit uh, risky he's shots hard, put yeah. in the nick, and yeah. you know he's still he's still in touch in this game. So. And he has the ability to make those consistently as well. So just a question of. Find the right time. Oh, it's a good shot, man. Good hold. Actually, superb set of two. Oh, and then these are yeah. a little bit loose. It was a superb set of two, three combinations. Oh, no, no, and then the spin coming in. Hand out. Sub five. By combination, was actually broken down by a short length on the forehand that hit the side wall. Until that, he was. So you can be as dominant as you want, but if you had one bad length, you suddenly go to a defensive position, yeah. an attacking position. Absolutely. That's good length. That's much mm -hmm. better length. Ah, but that's... Really that's Tarek's bread and butter. Tarek's bread and butter. Yeah. And a beautiful width over there. Oh, the stroke. Stroke to Tundan. Stroke to Tundan. Hand out. 6-7. Ramit's in touching distance here. He's not let him get away. So. Good services. I don't know if this is the right tactic because every time Ramit asks for the court services, he's actually won the point. So I feel like I still understand if I don't know. Maybe I feel like when he's winning points, he should keep should keep keep the rhythm going. Yeah, yeah. And maybe try and knock off two three points. 
before, before asking before for court service. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's a new dimension that's been brought into this game. You know, a uh, few years ago, this concept of court service yeah. didn't exist. Yeah. So now you can actually use it as a tactical yeah, advantage here as well. Obviously, the rule does say that both players have to agree. So you can't yeah. single-handedly yeah. call for the court service whenever you need a break. Six, sort of seven. So I think Ramit's opening the court up a little bit yes, too yeah. early. That's a very, very loose ball. Mm -hmm. I, I think he's a little lucky to get away with that. Yes, let 6 7. I wonder if Ramit's feeling physically because it is obviously a higher pace probably to what he's yeah. used to. So, yeah. interesting to see. Well, that's Down, a good, that's that's a a good error for Ramit actually yeah. to get like 7 all. He's gone even cheap point. Now, cheap point. Yeah. Got the uh, court service break a few sec a few minutes ago, a couple yeah. minutes ago. He's gonna have some air in his lungs to really yeah. push for the finish line now if he can make it. And Tarek is putting a little bit more yeah. pace on that ball. But this is the first time in the past couple of rallies you've actually seen Tarek being hustled a little bit, you know, like a little bit out of position. Correct. Sometimes see that again, he goes one way, goes back the other. Now it's just the interesting is if Ramit can make use of that. Down. And out. 8 7. Tight enough at the moment. But again, I do think that Tarek's causing that by hitting such good length. That yeah. Ramit's always rushed, so he's not in good enough positions. Yeah, agreed. Good tight end, Paramount. That post is just a bit too yeah. loose. But good recovery. No left. Aditya, what do you think about that one? I would have probably given that a lot because yeah. even though Ramis had to turn, by the time he turned, there Alex is sufficient room swing, to so play the would have hit it. There's always a safety factor there, you know. I feel like. No let, 9 7. If you're encouraging a player to hit that ball, you're taking a chance with, your, with his opponent's yeah. you know, body as well. So. <laughs> what do you think? I would have given that a lot. Yeah, I, I think so too. I do agree with you. Uh, that's a harsh no let. I think definitely not a stroke because I think he saw it late. And, you know, yeah, there's no question of a stroke, but it was a, a harsh no let. But anyway, play goes on. Let's see if he can get it out of his system. Maybe even after no, that was that was just uh, I uh, ten seven. Uh, the big game ball. ball. Big point and desperation. I wonder if the last decision was still playing on his mind a little bit. Yeah. It looked a little bit like frustrated. Uh, yeah, exactly. But you know. Uh, these guys, I think, have to realize that you're not going to get every referee's decision or your way, and you just have to treat the next point as the, a new point and try and block it out. Uh, Down. That's just uh, that's just 11-7. Game to Momin. Momin leads two games to love. Ramit has just got a major, major uphill task here. Yeah. Um, something dramatically needs to change if he's going to even take a game of Tariq now. Yeah. I think he needs to step it up and maybe needs a few yeah. stroke to moment. Stroke, yeah. Yeah. stroke to moment, I'm one love. I'm just, just finding I'm just finding his uh, approach just too passive. There have been there have been certain junctures where he's put pace on the ball and uh, trouble Tariq, but it has to be consistent for a good five, six points at a time. I think every time you know, it's Got a sniff in it, Tarek, so they're very smart. He just agreed to let the cleaners come on and take this thing out of it a little bit. Absolutely, and that's, just, play, right? that's just too good. Tarek loves too those combinations. If you see a lot of times, he'll play that short drop and he'll hunt the cross court and he'll play the straight. Right? Just deep drive and a quick boost. So he works in those two combinations. Yes, let. Yes, let. Too love. It's a very good um, thing for juniors also to see because I see a lot of juniors, they play a shot which they think is a winner. Oh, that's too good. That's yeah. too good. Three they, they play a shot which they think is a winner and they just sort of relax or step back. Yeah. The idea is that you play a good shot, a working shot and you're hunting that next ball. Keep the pressure up constantly, yeah. which is what I think you can see Tarek doing. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. At, at the level you guys playing are playing, you know, it's not enough to just hit one shot. You need to back it up with four or five good shots to just win a point. And that's something that the juniors have to uh, keep in mind. That's a good one and to run with as well. One good hand drop and follows it up with not the tightest drive, but with enough pace in it to get it past yeah. Tarek. Yeah, and die in the back. Down. Yeah. Two, three. I think Tarek won't be too unhappy with that error. <coughs> if he gets it up, he wins the point. So I think he's, <coughs> he's two love up. He's three one up that point. So what so do you think would be? Do you think Raman needs to get it like slow it down massively to or pick uh, it, pick up the pace? To I, I think slowing it down massively is just not going to work. Uh, Ramit has to, and, I, and, you, and you said it before that that's just not his game. Yeah. He likes to play at this medium to a slow pace game. But if you're going to compete at this level, you you need to have a backup. No let. You need to have a backup game plan. And no let. I'm not three all so far. He needs to put a little bit of elbow into the shots and get get that pace going. Right, box. We haven't really seen Tarek make any like high pressure lunges or crazy movements or like yeah. he still looks like he could have another gear. Mm -hmm. Even if Ramit's not comfortable putting the pace on, maybe he needs to be hunting the volley a little bit more. Just to take that little bit of time away from Tarek. Uh, ah. it's down. It's hand out. It's almost Both like one three. one step forward, two steps back. Yeah, and and uh, uh, you know very s basic errors is uh, unforced is the right word. Look at Tarek, he's generating so much power and pressure from his guys. Yeah. Defending. That's better. Looking nice and deep. And volleys with a one-two. It's a beautiful play by Ramit. That's a great recovery by Ramit. And out for all. I think it was a great pickup with Tarek to begin with, and then Ramit again, like expecting the pickup to happen, followed it up and won the point. Against many other players, that Ramit's first shot would have probably been a winner, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So he did a great job to follow it. Oh. Oh. 5 4. Good services, please. See again, Tarek's call for it. I feel like no, Ramit called for it. Oh, uh, Ramit. Yeah, I saw Ramit calling for it. Big and I out, get his towel. Again, exactly. I think, yeah, again, it's the same mm. thing. I think at yeah. five all now, Ramit's in the ascendancy, and yeah. it just. I'm not sure, maybe Ramit also needs a break, but. It's just not helping. Yeah, it's not helping. Because he's, he's just put that beautiful cross court, yeah. backhand cross court into the nick, drop, drop ball. And uh, that's when you need to build on that momentum. You see a lot of the digestion there, even Marwan, when he was playing with Mahesh, you saw if he got a point or Thank so, you. he was grabbing the ball and rushing to that. Even Mahesh did a few times, actually, rushing to the box to serve yeah. quickly and make use of that momentum, you know? Yes, absolutely. 5-4 from the left. With 11 points scoring, it's very easy to get that switch of momentum and rattle out 3-4 good points. Correct. And also the other thing that happens is every time they take this break, the white ball doesn't work like the black ball. It gets colder a lot faster. faster. Yeah. And Tarek loves the cold ball because he the can do his boss and cross court drops and stuff exactly. like that. So that will stay that much shorter, yeah. at least for a rally or yeah. two. And then five again he goes to 7-5 five, five or 8-5 and then Ram is back and I see the immediately he went short quick. I think just tactically maybe. No let. Oh. Mr. Tundan, I need you to play these shots. The minimum interference no left. What do you think of that, Richard? A little harsh, I think. Yeah. I mean, okay. he had gone through yeah. an excellent no interference. Hand out. But at the same off. time, like there was enough interference to make sure he gets there, not in the best position to play. Yeah. I feel that should have been taken into consideration. I'm just finding the referee's interpretation of a no let to be just way too harsh yeah, these sure. days. I think it's very extreme. Yeah, it's very extreme. Yeah. And I think... That's a light shot. Yeah, lovely, shot. lovely. 
I think you also have to take the match situation a little bit. You know, if it's five. a 9 or a 10 or if it's 50 50 decision, I think you should stick with the safe point and let, and let the players sort it out on court rather than making a decision that takes that control away from the players, you know. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of 50 50 calls that could be let's become strokes on all that and that's taking away from the player winning a point, you know, then Absolutely. sort of the ref becomes the center of attention more than the game getting the concentrated game. on the players, you know, Correct. which is not the case. Like for me, the ref should just be the facilitator and the game should. Move on. Oh. Good get by Ramit. Pressure is on. Ramit's done well to hang in there. Oh, he's guessed right. And he might just get a stroke out of that. Stroke, keep on that. That was a really nice Seven exchange. Five. It had everything in it. Yeah. A do or die guess with Ramit as well. Yeah. <laughs> he got away with it really well and then Let showed some say. good. I think squash smarts to wait for that knowing Tarek would be running Correct. forward towards the tee and just took him in the swing and took that stroke. Yep, absolutely. Ah, could have gone straight drop that. Just let. That's a simple let. There was yeah. a bit of interference. Just let. Ramit tipped tip off his Tarek's feet. There is sufficient interference. I can understand what Tarek's saying. He would have raised the ball. He's had a couple of, Ramit had a couple of knowledge given. You are in the line. So you are also there. Tarek's wondering why it's all that this time. 7-5. Okay, so we have the third game interestingly, po inter interestingly poised. We've got mm -hmm. Ramit got a two-point advantage here. Now, he's really need to going to need to tighten up to, mm -hmm. take, this, to take this game home at yeah. least. Good shot again, but Tarek's nice so pass. good in that corner. Ramit managed to pick it up. Nice lob. Ramit under pressure here, and that's. And that might stroke just be a stroke. Moment. Yep. Stroke to Moment, hand out 6 7. This is where I feel Tarek gets most dangerous. dangerous yeah. You can start uh, seeing the finish line. Ah, it's on the loose run by Ramit too early. And again, that's, yeah. that's just a mid court drop ball. Nice, right nice well. yeah, yeah. And that's again. Out. And that, that looked out, yeah. Out. A close call, but ref decided it's out. So seven all. We're back to seven all. It'll be interesting to see what happens now. Three or four big points coming out for Ahmed to stay in this tournament. He's played a good game though. He's oh, down. This is what happened in the third game, uh, second game as well, Aditya. 8 7. Some very, very cheap points. No need for that at this point. And that's all that Tariq needs that little bit of encouragement to take the next two, three points. That's just a little too loose and it's been dealt with appropriately. 9 7. Just fizzled away. And you know, and now we have uh, in, in what? 10 7 match ball? We're at uh, from 7 all to 10 7. Talking about almost how Ramis had a good game and he's looking close and yeah. just moved up too quick from that point. Oh, again. That's it. That's the end. 11 7. Good match, match by Tarek. He just came to love enough to win, but I, I thought Ramis was a lot, lot better, honestly. 11 7 11 7. James Winstrop of England to serve, Perez Disuki of Egypt uh, to receive. Welcome to the CCI Best International uh, PSA. And here James Winstrop uh, has just kicked off the semi-finals, second semi-finals against Perez Disuki of Egypt. Uh, here with me is Veer Chotrani. And that's just that thumbed into the neck. That dunk from uh, Faris there. So I was saying uh, here we have... Hand uh, out. Uh, one love. Uh, with me, Veer Chotrani, one of India's... Uh, most promising juniors. So that's a good start from Faris there with a the slam dunk. Good choice, please. So what's your take on this match, Yash? Um, I've I've seen both players uh, uh, play uh, all their matches this uh, in this event, and I feel uh, Faris. Uh, and I feel Faris has an edge over uh, Westrop. It's uh, it's just because. Uh, Faris has been playing incredible squash uh, 
uh, this entire tournament. But uh, if I had to predict the score, then it would be three one to Faris. What do you think, Veer? Oh, I feel it can go to a five game match, but uh, that's because I think Faris has not had the match practice yet. He's just played two matches after fourteen months, so he he can get a little edgy. So, but it's going to be a great match. And out one last. We hope they entertain the crowd today. Yes, absolutely. What up? There you see Faris pushing the pace there, Two avoiding lap. everything and finishing with a great cross court kill. It's another great cross court kill from Faris. He's so strong there. Three love. I think it's just that uh, uh, Faris needs to make James uh, work in the front corners and try and keep the ball. Uh, uh, That's low a good response from James there. And down uh, one three. As much as I have noticed, the low cross court kills w work very well, especially on this court. And it's very tough to pick up. Uh, I think if uh, any of the pl both the players can use it uh, uh, properly, then. It's great anticipation there by Faris. Oh. Uh, let's Down. just clip that in. Two, three. James will need to work really hard today if he has to get this win. Because Faris is playing with full confidence. He's enjoying his game. Yes, uh, and I think uh, yeah, if, yeah, yesterday if, uh, James had a uh, hard match with Mahesh Mangalkar. Uh, he won 3-1 but uh, it was a well fought match by Mahesh. Um, and as much as I noticed uh, yesterday, Faris, uh, yesterday Wilstrop was uh, struggling a little physically towards the. Oh, what a uh, shot that from Faris there. He's taken the ball pretty early there. And out. And slaughtered that. Four two. Uh, towards the end of the third game and also uh, the fourth game. Um, I feel. Uh, uh, but maybe. Uh, do you think it's the humidity or the court conditions that's uh, troubling the Why? players? Or yes, it is. Uh, India, especially, not used to the conditions. You, they come really like once in a year. No, but uh, I've seen Far I've seen uh, Wilstrop come uh, and play on the glass court at uh, two thirty, three o'clock in the afternoon when it's, uh, uh, which is the hottest uh, time of the day. It's I definitely it's cooler than last year, but. Still, I think they need to still get used to this weather. Ooh. That's great attacking spot from Paris there. Putting the ball very well in Six, the front and two. rolling that straight in the front there. Oh, what a shot that from Paris. He's on fire. 7 2. That's a great shot from James. Speed out. That ball Three, right seven. The side wall. I think James is just uh, struggling to find his length a little bit because Paris is playing on such a high pace. He's not giving uh, James uh, much time to think. Oh, that's a great length from James there. Yeah. Just flicking his wrist straight there on the forehand Four, side. Seven. Getting it deep and low. Perfect dying length. Oh, a 
Yeah, so yeah. bring that in there. Five, seven. Uh, come back from James here. According to you, Will, what do you think uh, Faraz needs to do uh, if he wants to defeat uh, James Westrop? I think Faraz needs to keep the base high and try to volley every shot of James, not let him get an opening to because James is really dangerous in the front. That's absolutely right, Will. And uh, what do you think uh, Faraz needs to do against James? Just uh, like that. That was an amazing shot there from Faraz. Slamming that in the end out eight five. So, uh, so what, do you, what do you think James needs to uh, do against Ferris? I think James, uh, yes, I think James yes, does not need to. Should not give Eight Faris five. the volleys because Faris is really dangerous and he should get the cross court wide enough so that it's beyond the reach of Faris and make sure Faris takes the ball from the back of the court so that he can attack right after that. Down. That was a nine five. Both step from James. Good, good rally there from James. Well, that, was, that was very well anticipated by. Uh, Hand out. Six nine. Uh, it was it was James's quick reactions that won in the point. Oh, that's a great shot there from James. Got a volley there. Seven nine. Low killing that shot perfectly right up up the pin. Down. Slightly rushing there, Faris. Eight nine. Oh, oh a shot, shot back from Faris there. That's an absolute that stunner there. Hand out. By, uh, Ten eight. Give Faris. Great reactions, but what a shot. Great hitting there from Paris. That's really well put away. The first game Level goes to Paris Desuki. Game to Desuki. Desuki leads one game to luck. Desuki leads one game uh, to welcome luck. Welcome back. Uh, we see Paris love is one love up. And he's about to kick off the second game. Let's see what James can do in this game. Uh, during the break, we had a small conversation with uh, one of India's uh, uh, finest squash players, uh, Mr. Manish Chodrani, and he made a very, uh, uh, very valid point that both the players are playing very clean squash. Uh, by that, I mean they are not uh, uh, looking for uh, uh, stupid uh, uh, or silly, uh, silly, de silly decisions like a letter or stroke. There, even even though. Uh, even if they know the, it's a stroke, they are still uh, trying to uh, play the ball, and uh, I feel that's uh, that's a very uh, uh, I, I didn't I didn't see that oh. in the previous oh. matches or even yesterday. I feel. What do you think yeah. about that? Way? That's absolutely right. one all. Really clean game here. Paris just rush rushing that shot there. Out. But it's so uh, definitely great to see Farad back. And out. 2 1. Really missed his game. So attacking. Yeah. 
Oh. Now, leave it in there. Uh, this will be. Hand out to all. Oh, that's a perfect land there from James. It's a great cross court. Three, two. I think James needs to keep doing that in order to get points. Because it's never easy to play Faris. Down. There's a couple of arrows there from Faris now. Four, two. I think he can feel the pressure. Down. Another cheap error there from Faris. 5 2. Another James need to. Points there for James. Yes. He needs to continue the same. The ball at a stretch three, there. Five. Ball landing short. Coming out, hitting the side wall slightly. Four five. Giving a stroke to Paris. Pressure from Paris Hill. Oh, that is an amazing shot there from that's James. A, there. That's a lovely shot there. So, as I was saying in the beginning of Head the out. first game, Six, that uh, the low cross court kill is very useful on this court. James has used that a couple of times. James not moving out of his way there. Ball coming right what, out. what are your thoughts Five on that decision, Veer? I think that's the correct decision because loose drop there from James and he stood there. So did not allow Paris to go through and play there. Yes, let. Yes, let. Five, six. Oh, that's a perfect cross court there from Paris. Perfect with hitting the nick at the back. Six all. I think it's going to become slightly difficult now for James because uh, he was leading at 5 2 and Paris is right back at him. 6 all though.
Oh, that's so. Let Gary okay. right there from Farris stretching James everywhere around the court and playing that beautiful drop shot in. Need the court service? Court service, please, quickly. Yash, if you remember last year, we were in Egypt and we saw Farris training out there. Great to see him train. Yep. He was he was so good and so tough. What he was doing. We'll do that. We'll do that. What are your thoughts on his training we saw last year? Um, yeah, it's it's absolutely brutal. I mean, if I'm not wrong, he used to. I mean, when he would come, he would change into his shoes and go for a uh, two to uh, to uh, go for a four to five kilometer run, and then uh, uh, do his uh, solo, then uh, a session with a coach, seven six, and then his uh, on court uh, on court fitness drills, and then uh, cool down. And I think he would do that twice in a day. Which is just uh, uh, absolutely brutal. I mean, I th I think it's. Uh, oh. Down. They need. Uh, what do you, What are your thoughts on the diet of the, uh, these uh, top players? I feel these Egyptians and uh, all the top players right now. They have a very strict diet. They follow a really strict diet, and and I think it's more of proteins and. A lot of yeah, yeah, their protein intake is uh, massive, I guess. It's good play from Faris here. Oh, oh, that's a, that's an amazing shot there from James. Slotting that shot in the nick. Great shot. Yes, but uh, he didn't Eight play that shot seven. better than yours. Uh, if I'm not wrong, you played an absolute, uh, absolutely. Crazy shot there once, uh, if I'm not wrong, two years ago in the I selections. Can't, can't say that here because these guys are too good. Perfect line there from Paris. Great shot. Hand out, eight all. Looking at the current situation, Yash, I think Faris is going to take this match in three games. He's he's definitely playing at his very best. Down. That's slightly cheap point there for Faris. Nine eight. James uh, rushing to play that shot. That's so a great, great pick so up there from so Farris there. That's an amazing rally there. Good pressure from James, but it's ultimately the Suki. 10-8 game ball. And it's two game balls for Farris here. I think that hit it in there. Yes, that did. 9 10 game ball. Still a game ball here for Faris. Let's see what James can do now. Crucial point here. Uh, what do you think Faris should do here? Should he hang in the rally or should he try and uh, yeah, get a quick I point? I think uh, Faris should keep putting the pressure. He's been doing the whole game, balling those balls, hitting the ball really hard. Oh, oh, that's yeah. a pin there from Far uh, from James. 11-9 game to this two game lead now Desuki for Faris. Two games to love. Let's 
just stayed in. James has to get a big push here now. She needs to win. Keeping this, staying in this match. No, no let. That's great pressure no there from no Paris. That fast post. Yes, Paris is finishing the ball. He's there. been making James work a lot now. this entire match, and I can already see uh, uh, James's legs are looking very heavy. Great, great pressure there from Paris. Yeah. Holding every shot of James. Too loud. Putting him under tremendous trouble there. Oh, he's Paris is making uh, James bend right down every single point. Oh, what a shot that from Paris. And he gets a stroke yes, there. Right. Oh, I thought that was yes, a left. stroke. Too loud. I think I'll agree to you on that beer. Maybe that should have been a stroke. James had failed to uh, clear in time. Yes, let. Yes, let. Too loud. Down. He's clipping that in there. Perfect length by Farrell's. Three loud. Fearless Farris there showing a slam donkey bonky love. from Farris there. <laughs> That's a good play short there from Nolet. James. Taking the ball well. Hand out 1 4. Making full use of the loose shot by Farris this week. Taking the two trying four. to go to volley that, but Left side. James's shot was pretty tight, and he ended up. I don't know that. Oh my God, that was scandalous shot there from I Paris. think uh, Faris has been doing a lot of solo five back in two. Egypt uh, when uh, he wasn't playing tournaments. Because we have seen a lot of. Uh, Sit down, please. Seen a lot of uh, kids running some amazing there. shots this evening and also uh, in this event. Paris going for another one, but just missing. Rally goes on. Down. Just hitting the top of the tin there. But it's a good rally here. And now, 3 5. Paris is looking unbelievably quick on the volley. He's trying to cut off every single Put service, please. James will need a huge push now. He needs to stay in this match. Three 
James, oh, that's a great land from James. Oh, that was. Down. That's a great rally from James. Kill them. The lead for safety there. Oh, that's a perfect cross court, but lucky, slightly lucky there for Faras. Hand out seven six. Just hitting the top of the tent. Hand out. Seven all. Low. Just needs to go slightly high. I think he should get that in the nick. Amazing drop shot. That's vintage hill stop there. Yeah, Taking the ball so seven. Perfect drop there from James. He's from seven five down, he's gone to eight seven up. That's another perfect, perfect land. land perfect land there by yeah. the marksman. Nine seven. Continue that if he needs to get this game and put some pressure on Paris. That's good use of height there from James. Not allowing Paris to dominate the the area there. That's an amazing kill that was fired. Good from James. Good height there from James. Oh. That's another absolutely oh, what a beautiful shot, shot there what from James. Shot. Perfect. Three great points from him. And he's got three, three game balls Ten, here. 10 7 game ball. Masterclass from the marksman here. We definitely want to see more sports. Huh? Out. out. That going, just clipping the sure. red line there. Hand and out. Two game balls for James. Eight, ten game ball. Yes, let. Slight collision there between. Yes, the let. Eight, ten, game ball. Good catch there from James. Perfect out. land there from James, and there's the game. 
Yeah, we're nine. Game from Genesis yeah, we're nine. Game two. Good stuff. And it's going to four. Super leads. Two games to one. Let's see what he can do again. He really needs to keep varying the pace there. That's good. Uh, Paris just skipping uh, it in there. We've seen a couple of those uh, One errors today, on, especially From on Paris the, active, yes. yeah, especially on the uh, backhand volley into the. So just keep the ball slightly above the rim. That's a cut trip for oh, pick up there from James Dutch, but that's that was a tremendous post and there from Paris. One all. Stretching James out and good pick up but with Paris in the end. Down two one. James needs to just needs to just cut those arrows off. He also needs to push the pace up a little bit. Yes, he does. He did that to some extent in the third, which worked. That's that what is up? classical shot there from James. Hand out. Perfect Two drop all. straight in the That's I, th I think that's the most dangerous shot he plays. To I think that was a good decision by the referee. Yes, that was. Hand out. So Three, way. two. James's straight drive there, coming slightly out in the middle of the court, preventing Paris's swing there. You can see the good pace, pace here. Good hitting from Paris. Ambitious there for James. Four James. two. Focus on the rallies, preventing Paris from just volley and then finishing the game. That's a good drop there. That's a good post from the from Faris. Five two. Maneuvering James around the court well. Stroke there for Desuki. Stroke to Desuki. James is there again. Six out. two. Uh, stop looking a little fatigued out there. Uh, yes, he is. I think yesterday's match was really. He worked really hard yesterday against Mahesh, and, and he's definitely also feeling the effects of age right now. He's almost thirty-six years old. Still playing at that level, which is amazing. That's amazing. Oh, that's so good. Good pressure there from Paris. Great length, great lob. Oh, that's good pick up from James. Great rally. Great rally there from both girls. Need the good service? Good service, please.
some advice there from uh, one of the uh, senior most squash players at CCI at CCI uh, Pranay Merchant <laughs> and also uh, the boy from Borivali Anuj Narkar <laughs> hand out 3 6 Shot there by Wilstrop. Good use of height from James. Paris is short, just four six. Slightly in the center and great, great way to finish that shot from James. Just two rallies here for James. He needs to continue the. He's still two points. Oh, oh. I think he didn't need to do that. He Hand out seven four. I think he needs to hit his lines again. He can do that as in really. Force Paris to hit the error. Opportunity. How do you get that? Oh, that's an amazing oh, How do you get that? Oh, oh what that a rally. What a rally there, man. Pure speed there for Paris. Great pick up on the drop shot and so powerful. Eight, four. What a shot, what a shot. What a length there from Paris. He was completely out of position still. He was nine. He was, uh, Huge stretch to, there and uh, able to flick able his wrist straight for perfect length. That's another crazy 10 4 match here. And that's six match balls for Paris. His first final. It's interesting to see how he finishes the ball. Good pick up there. Oh, that's an amazing shot. Good, great pressure from Faris. Down. Oh, and that's just clipping. Yeah, yeah, Faris makes an incredible uh, comeback. Guys, by making it to the finals of the CCI International. 11, 8, 11, Made it to a final. 8, 8, 11, 11, 11, for quite some time. And it looks like my predictions have come true. Uh, signing off here from Please. CCI. Hope to see you guys tomorrow for an all-Egyptian clash. Good night. <laughs>